so i hope you recall that if such a transformation tool is there the transformation means we have to switch from one domain to another domain there are multiple types of the domain possible for representation of the information information what we call as a signal in our domain so whatever the convenient form of the representation in concerned domain it may be there this mathematical tool will help us to switch from one domain to another domain so this is such kind of a mathematical tool that is fourier transformation here so from time domain or spatial domain we may switch to the frequency domain what most possibly is also known by the fourier domain here so let us have the continuous fourier transformation and basically as we switch from one domain to another domain so there are forward transformation and the reverse transformation also so whatever the information we talk about the signal the signal most possibly uh, we can have of different types from one dimensional two dimensional and multi dimensional signal also so in this regard if simply we have assumption of any signal which is basically a complex valued function that can be denoted by small f the corresponding fourier transformation can be expressed mathematically by this expression you see f cap of omega where omega is the angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi f and this is expressed as 1 upon square root 2 pi that is multiplied to the integration minus infinity to infinity f of t e to the power minus i into t into omega dt so as we have talked about the complex valued function f so here it has been represented in the rhs f of t here so if this functional representation f belongs to let us say the functional space l superscript 1 here so that time the integral here in this mathematical representation will make sense for every value of the angular frequency omega and the representation that we have seen in this mathematical expression f cap of omega will be a continuous bounded function that will go to zero at the infinity here now see the fourier transformation can also be defined for any function f that can be belonging to the functional space l superscript 2 so in this regard the integration may not be defined into the usual sense here so let us have the generalized representation we have f cap of omega is equal to 1 upon square root 2 pi the ratio is multiplied to limit r tends to infinity for the integral it should be minus r to plus r f of t e to the power minus i t omega so here it is a typo mistake instead of having minus infinity and plus infinity this should be r here okay so now in this case f cap we have represented for the fourier transformed version of the information or the signal here so this transformed version will also belong to the functional space l superscript 2 here so either we talk about the function belonging to l superscript 1 or l superscript 2 in general it can be written in generalized forward type of the fourier transform and then the inverse type of the fourier transformation also so see if we want to express the signal time domain signal or the spatial domain signal in terms of its fourier transformation here we write it as f of t is equal to 1 upon square root 2 pi which is multiplied to the integral minus infinity to infinity f cap of omega into e to the power i t omega d omega here so now you see the change as we switch from the forward to that of the inverse transformation here so in this representation the integral may be needing the interpretation as a limit of the final integrals also and generally local integrable function f will have the fourier transform as we have denoted f cap which may not be a function anymore 
rather than a generalized function or simply a distribution that we can show graphically also with the help of uh, the frequency axis and the amplitude axis here so now this is what the simple representation of the continuous type of the fourier transformations that will switch us from one domain to another domain let us revise few of the selected properties of the fourier transformation so the first property if you talk about the fourier transform will preserve the l superscript 2 norms and the inner products which is mostly identified as the parseval plancherel theorem so if we have the functional representation f and another one g belonging to l superscript 2 the functional space so that time the inner product of the functions and the fourier transform versions of the same functions is equal here so here we express by this mathematical expression and also here we have this particular relation true for this particular function here now next property can be discussed as the fourier transformation turning convolution into the multiplication and vice versa which is the most popular property of the fourier transform and it is the reason because of which fourier transform is also the most popular tool in the signal processing domain here so if again we have the two signal representations small f and small g here so we know that the convolution into the time domain is nothing but the product or the multiplication of their fourier transform versions and vice versa here so mathematically here we express f convolved with g for the time domain which is equal to here we have representation integral f of y into g of t minus y dt which is equal to integral f of t minus y into g y dy here the definition here we can more elaborate with the two more expressions where we show the convolution operation by the help of the asterisk between f and g so at the second equation on this slide you see on its corresponding left hand side whereas in the last equation you see that one on the right hand side the mere multiplication either can be shown with the help of a dot or there it is no requirement of any symbol between the two functional representations so either it may be into the spatial domain or into the frequency domain here now concerning the next property we can say that the fourier transform will turn translation operation into the modulation and vice versa so this is very similar to that we have seen for the convolution and the product here so in general the translation of f by a constant parameter small a in general we express by this mathematical expression so translation can be denoted by capital T in the suffix we write small a which is in multiplication to f of t the signal so this can be most conveniently represented in most of the mathematical equations as f of t minus a here now the modulation of f by the same constant small a can be defined as we have capital E suffix a f of t which is equal to the exponential e to the power i into a into t into f of t here so therefore we have the translated version capital T suffix a into f to the power omega here it is equal to e to the power minus i a omega into the Fourier transform version f cap of omega omega being the angular frequency which can also be written as capital E suffix minus a into f cap of omega the Fourier transform version of the first signal f of t here next we can have e suffix a into f to the power we have omega this is equal to f cap omega minus a which can also be equivalent to e suffix a into f cap omega here next to that we go for the another property where the fourier transform will turn dilation into the inverse dilation here see the dilation of any generalized signal denoted by f by s 
so that can be denoted as dilation represented by capital D suffix S into F of T. So this is equal to mod S to the power minus 1 by 2 multiplied to F of T divided by S. So the factor that we have shown here is selected to see this relation where mod to the base 2 of ds into f is equal to mod to the base 2 of f here. The Fourier transform relationship is also expressed by this mathematical equation here. And lastly, we shall uh, wind up this particular topic to better know that the Fourier transform also turns the differentiation into the multiplication by the factor i into omega omega being the angular frequency and this can also be turned in vice versa mode here so this last property can also be expressed with the help of mathematical expressions like this here so this was all about the topic continuous fourier transformation so with this revision of continuous fourier transformation by the next lecture we shall address the continuous time frequency representation of the signal. We shall see how capable the Fourier transform tool is there to address the signal processing applications and then we shall move on to the another version of the Fourier transform which is also known as the windowed Fourier transform or short time Fourier transform and from this exact topic we shall have a switch into the wavelet theory where we can start understanding of the continuous wavelet transform.